ClickUp versus Asana. Choosing the wrong one for your company could be detrimental. The good news for you is that I have a portfolio of companies with over 80 team members that uses each of these. And so by the end of this video, you should know exactly which tool to use depending on your use cases, your team size, and your revenue numbers. Now, let me just cover what this video is not going to be. This video is not going to be a in-depth side-by-side comparison with every single different feature that's an 80 minute video because in all reality you guys can do that on your own what i want to do instead here is create a very simple comparison that's just going to show four to five different things that i think you need to keep in mind when making this decision because in the end each tool will do pretty much 80 to 90 percent of what you need done so what we want to do is make sure that the difference in that 10 to 20 percent is understood so that way you can know that before before you get into the tool and realize that that tool maybe doesn't have it down the road. So the first thing we want to compare is the mission of each company. So ClickUp slogan is one app to replace them all. And they try very hard to live up to that phrase. ClickUp's overall objective is to literally take over all of the apps that you're using or could be using inside of your business. So this includes Slack, Google Documents, your CRM. All of those are going to be put inside of ClickUp, including ClickUp's ability to be the project management software. And so in order to do this, ClickUp has an unbelievable amount of features and customization. You can do things inside ClickUp that you literally could never do inside of Asana. But of course, that level of customization and flexibility does have its drawbacks. For example, I think the learning curve for ClickUp is incredibly high, meaning that if you're coming at this and this is the first ever project management software you've used, ClickUp is pretty complex. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad software. I'm saying that because you have so many different ways to do different things, it might be overwhelming when you first get inside of it. Now, that's going to be really beneficial if you want to have everything inside of ClickUp and you want to have customizations and dashboards and things that compare everything together. However, if you're looking for just something simpler out of the box, then maybe we need to discuss Asana. So Asana slogan is the best platform for cross-functional work. They are not trying to be everything to everybody. They know exactly who they're trying to go after and they just keep on developing the features they already have to make them better and less buggier. So Asana is an unbelievable project management software, but that's all they are. They're really just a project management software. They don't have the docs features and some of the really cool dashboard and customization features that ClickUp has or Asana makes you pay for those where ClickUp has it included in their free plan. Asana is really great if you want a project management software. You just want to be able to open your project management software and get straight to work. If you don't want to have to figure out how do I even structure this project management software, but instead you want to follow rigid out of the box guidelines, then Asana may be your better tool. Okay, so now let's dive into a side-by-side -side comparison of each of them. So on the right-hand side, I have Asana over here, and on the left-hand side, I have ClickUp. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not gonna go through every single different feature of each, but I just wanna show you that they both have almost the exact same layout. So that's why that shouldn't be a determining factor of whether you use ClickUp or Asana. On the right-hand side on Asana, you have Home. On the left-hand side, you have Home. On the right-hand side, you have Inbox. On the left-hand side, you have Notifications. Uh, on the right-hand side, you have Goals. On the left-hand inside, you have goals as well. So you can see that it's very, very similar how the layout is. I mean, if I removed the logos, you might not even know the difference between the two. And the majority of people are going to be hanging out in this homepage most of the time. You can come inside of here in Asana and type in like, shoot a YouTube video as your new task, right? YouTube video. You can click tab and set the due date for today, and then you can set a project if you want to, or just keep it private just to me. Then if I clicked on it, I can change the assignee to me or somebody else, the due dates, the projects inside of it, I can add descriptions or subtasks. If we come over to ClickUp over here, you can see I can click plus task right here. I can type in shoot a YouTube video. Uh, then I can decide which list I wanna add it into. Now this is a test account, so these don't have any lists, but these would be one of the areas that ClickUp maybe shines is that 
you have so much customization that you could add this inside of a space, a folder, a list, where in Asana, you're kind of regimented just to adding it to one project. Once again, if you want the simplified version, Asana is just to a project. And ClickUp, you have all these different features, which if you want to use all the features, is a big benefit. If you don't, could be a little bit extra work just to get a task set up, okay? Then down here, you would type in whatever you want to type in. So like, let's just say, shoot a ClickUp video. And then you can come down here and add subtasks, very similar to how you would add subtasks here as well. And then um, you can come down here and do a few other customizations like adding dependencies, meaning that this thing can't trigger till something else triggers, but you can do the exact same thing over here in Asana, right? So now we have a better understanding of the difference in the task creation. Let's talk about the hierarchy of each. So ClickUp on the left-hand side follows a hierarchy of at the very top, we have a workspace. Then below that, you have a space. A space could be one of a dozen different things, such as a department or even a specific project, but let's just use a media department as the space. Then you have folders and folders could be like specific projects inside that department, such as YouTube videos. And then you have lists inside of that that could be specific YouTube videos. And then and those can have tasks and subtasks and you can kind of keep on going down this rabbit hole of customization inside ClickUp when you're trying to build uh, projects or teams. Now on the right hand side, you have Asana, which like I said in the beginning, is a lot more simplified. So Asana pretty much just has the workspace at the top, which is scaling with systems. Then Asana has teams, which would just be the media department. And then they have projects, which would just be like uh, YouTube videos. And then you have tasks and subtasks. So once again, it shows that if you're a little bit more advanced and and you want some real customization, then you can go into ClickUp and you can have every one of these different lists and projects and folders all speaking to each other and leaning on each other, where in Asana, they're kind of a little bit more compartmentalized, right? You just have, kind of have like a project podcast pipeline, then you'll have a project media pipeline, and they don't really talk to each other or uh, integrate with each other as well as they do over in ClickUp, but they are, in my opinion, a little bit simpler to use. And the final thing I want to walk through really quickly is the price comparison. Okay, so this is probably one of the most important determining factors in whether you choose ClickUp or you choose Asana. I will just come out and say it from the beginning. If you're looking for to pay like no money whatsoever, ClickUp definitely beats out Asana in pricing. Uh, in full transparency, you can do almost everything that you can do inside of premium in Asana, which is $13.49 per user a month in the free version of ClickUp. So all the automations, uh, unlimited tasks, all of that stuff, unlimited members can go inside the free version of ClickUp, but you'd have to spend almost $14 per person inside of Asana. And then even if you were to go up from the free version to the the next step up, which is unlimited, it's $9 uh, per member per month on a monthly plan. And like I said, it's $14 in uh, Asana. So if pricing is like your number one thing that you're worried about, then ClickUp actually wins this one out here because almost everything you can do on the paid version of Asana, you can do on the free version of ClickUp. And that difference is even highlighted more when you think about how much other software that ClickUp can actually end up replacing. But remember, pricing shouldn't be the only comparison that you're making between these two. For example, in one of my companies where we have over 50 team members, I actually use Asana instead of using ClickUp because I don't want any of my team members to have to do any kind of thinking. I just want them to be inside of projects, executing tasks without worrying whenever they're logging inside of there. How do they even set up a new project or a new task? However, in a different company that I have, a little bit of a smaller, leaner company, we actually use ClickUp because inside of there, there's so much different customization and I started that company knowing I was gonna use ClickUp from the beginning, and so I didn't have to get some of the other softwares that I had inherited over the past few years on the company we have inside of Asana. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a simple comparison between ClickUp and Asana. The bottom line is that each of those softwares does about 80 to 90% of what you need them to do. I don't recommend using pricing as the only factor when you're looking at this because either one of the softwares, even if you have to pay a little bit of money, will be paid for easily by the increase increase in productivity from your different teams. In my personal opinion, if you're starting with less software, less tasks, and less things that are already happening inside of your company, it might be easier just to go inside ClickUp and build an entire company from scratch inside of ClickUp. There's so much customization in there that you can easily do that. Now, the only caveat is I would recommend having somebody on your team that is kind of a little bit more tech savvy because they're gonna be the ones that are likely gonna be creating all the different customers 
customizations and automation that comes with ClickUp. However, in Asana, if you're a little bit more established, if you don't want to have to spend your time on that learning curve trying to understand all these things and you already have all your systems and processes built out and you just want to use a project management software, then very likely Asana is going to be your best pick for that.